Hey, it's Janae Emily Utley, Holistic Lifestyle Maven and Possibility Trainer, and I am back. So I was not planning on being gone from this channel so long, but even though I was not here, I was on my other channel, the channel that I shared with my husband, our couple slash family slash travel YouTube channel. So to let you in on a teensy secret, the last full video that I did on this channel where I sat down and talked about imposter syndrome, I was actually pregnant. I had found out a few days before that I was pregnant and I was, you know, my husband and I, we were so thrilled, so excited, so over the moon. But the pregnancy was really, 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 really tough on my body. And around the nine or 10 week mark, my baby went back to heaven. And in the hospital for two days. And I have to stay in here till tomorrow and hopefully they'll release me after they see that I am okay. And I was bedridden for about three, four weeks after that. It was just a really, really tough time. And me and my husband actually sat down and did a full video about that on our channel. So we both could express where we were mentally, emotionally, and spiritually before, during, and after this whole process. So I will leave a link right here for you to go and check that out. So I healed and things got better and I actually celebrated my 33rd birthday. And that brought about a whole lot more growth. So one thing that I was very, very clear on um, about you know this year of my life is that it was going to be my Jesus year. I did not anticipate walking straight into my birthday how off the rip um, so many things were going to get torn down changed and exposed so while all of this was happening changes was happening even before the pregnancy my husband and I had been talking about what would it look like to move and more specifically move to a country with more affordable living more more specifically <laughs> move to Mexico so around May of this year we moved to Mexico. So, what I want to let y'all know is life is for living and I am trying to live to the best of my abilities and I am to a point where I'm just trying to muster as much sanity as I have and figure out the next steps. Come on, let's go swimming. So, with so many transition things happening in my life um, it became beyond overwhelming not to mention like me trying to combat and warfare against imposter syndrome it also became super apparent to me that life is always going to be life and <laughs> things are always going to be happening so I had to really stop making excuses or lying to myself or uh, believing the lies that the enemy told me and I'm taking it on as my own I just there's always going to be something happening so I need to set myself up for success in the simple things so one thing that I know that is true for me that might be true for you too is when I like look better I feel better so doing simple things like since I'm wearing my hair like super super short like this not even wavelength but like below wavelength just making sure I take the clippers and I clean up my haircut every couple days also things like making sure i have a good skincare routine now at one point i had went skincare bananas and i still am very much so 
about skincare, but paring it down to a level where it's simple and I can do it, you know, in the morning and in the evenings as well. I've also had to stop buying into the lie or the limiting belief that I need to wait to get cute clothes. I'm not the size that I once was. I will be a smaller size, um, really a healthier size at some point, but I need cute clothes now. I need cute and comfortable clothes now. So making sure I have things in my luggage, in my suitcase that are both cute and comfortable because I don't want to make no excuse as to why I can't show up for myself because I don't have a cute outfit that fits or all of the stuff that I could potentially tell myself. And that rolled into also having cute workout stuff. I said it, I said it. Um, I am a part of potentially <laughs> the president of the Thick Thigh Committee. And as such, my thighs like to create holes in my leggings. So making sure I have cute workout stuff that I feel good and pretty in. That makes all the difference in the world sometimes. And something that goes hand in hand with that is, y'all know I'm animated. I talk with my hands. I move my arms a lot. And as such, I like me, personally, me, like to keep my armpits in a good situation. Now y'all know I have been an at-home waxing chick since the panini hit. Okay, I had to. <laughs> had to get a grip I had to take charge of my life okay and something as simple as having my wax pot and keeping up keeping like upkeep does so much because that will be a reason that I won't show up for myself you know my armpits not situated like I want them to so I don't want to do a YouTube video or they're not situated like they need to be so I don't want to go for a walk or go for a run or go for a gym workout I have to keep it simple for myself so I can keep showing up for myself. Because when my pits are happy, I'm happy. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Happy Waxing. I wish I would have had this kit when I first started. In my naive beginner brain, I really thought all kits were created equal and I was wrong, wrong. This kit is actually marketed to be beginner friendly and when I tell you no lies were told, no lies were told. It comes with everything you need and even some things that you might not think you need but actually come in handy. I love that it lets you know exactly how much wax you need for each body part you are trying to wax. I often travel with my waxing pots. If you watch my vlog channel, then you know I'll quickly take a pot with me on a road trip just to do little touch-ups if I need to. The shape and size of this thing makes it so easy and so much better to travel with. My favorite part is that the wax melts to the perfect temperature. I was really skeptical when I noticed that it didn't have a dial that you could turn it up or down depending on how hot or cold the temperature was. But when I tell you, something about it it just it melts the wax to the perfect temperature so it's good to go once the beads are melted now this is coming from somebody who has burnt their skin meats a lot of <laughs> waxing all right now Not to mention, I've saved so much money and I stay way more consistent with my waxing routine. They say the more consistent you are, the hair grows back slower and thinner, and that has been my honest experience. This dries fast. I will say that this dries fast, um, way faster than I'm really used to, and I appreciate that because holding my arms up like this for a long time, they get tired, they get real tired. If you're looking for a consistent way to wax that won't have you burning all your skin meats off and it will help you stay consistent, I'm going to leave a special link in the description box below for you to check out and use code Janae15 for you to save on your order. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to Happy Waxing YouTube channel where they make super simple how-to videos concerning the wax pot. So that brings us to now. Right now, I am in a season that I'm trying really, really hard to give myself 
permission to just create and share freely. No pressure, no imposter syndrome, no trauma. Just create and be free to create. Not just create, but to share how I am healing mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and even financially because when I was going through all of this stuff, I some some money stuff popped up again and I want to be free enough and brave enough to create and share that. This season has also given me more clarity about um, how, how I want to show up and who I want to help in my business. As someone who has a master's in exercise physiology, I really want to lean more into that and make that meet like the, my own struggles that I've, I've had and I'm overcoming and in the process of healing through. So y'all know I've had my own issues with like hormonal stuff and gut stuff and sadness and just chronic tiredness and brain fog and obviously imposter syndrome, all of that. And that has really, really, really just driven it home for me that I really wanna help um, enterprising, entrepreneurial black women build muscle so that they can combat uh, hormonal issues and gut issues and chronic tiredness and brain fog because I know that I am supposed to be helping those women be more focused, be stronger, be more productive um, so that they can then touch more people and fulfill their purposes. I've known bits and pieces of that for a really long time. It's, it's <laughs> God is funny. It's, it's when you're doing stuff and you're moving through, he always gives you just enough for you to keep going. And I feel like as I'm growing and I'm learning and I'm maturing and I'm going through my own struggles, it's like piece by piece. It's like, oh, I'm supposed, not only am I supposed to be helping people, women get stronger, I want to help black women get stronger actually build muscle because muscle essentially and i'll get all into this in later videos but mu muscle is youth theorem okay muscle is the key like seriously um to combating so many like issues health issues mind issues mental issues weight issues um but to really help black women build muscle so they can for real for real walk out their purpose and i'm okay to say that one of the reasons that I am okay to say that is because I have been around other women, uh, specifically black women, who are not afraid to say that that's who, who they are here to show up for and help. And for me, because I am a black woman, uh, that helps me to speak from a place of experience. So coming up, I am going to be walking you guys with me step by step as I show you what I am doing currently present day to build muscle and to continue on my healing journey so i'm going to be showing my outline for my muscle building workouts and my nutrition and things like recovery i am heavily implementing recovery back into my life that is something that i kind of uh, walked away from after I left college and it's something that's super important so recovery and mobility training trying to get my my joints flexible and being able to move around and just be agile as agile as I used to be and this also includes me taking y'all on the journey to therapy y'all know I'm I'm in Mexico and and figuring that out of how I can be getting my mental worked on while I'm working on my body while I'm traveling because it you know presents a whole new slew of challenges opportunities if you will so i am completely out of my comfort zone trying to start over so i can just take the pressure off of myself and i'm doing that in a country that's not my homeland with people who speak a language that's not my native language so just me working on myself while I'm also living life and trying new things and perpetually pushing myself out of my comfort zone. So here is what I want you to do. I am inviting you to click the subscribe button if you want to do this with me. Not just that, in the description box below, I'm going to leave a link for you to sign up for my wait list. I am going to be opening up a community for women who want to do this with me in detail so on youtube i'm going to be showing you guys what's happening and what i'm doing but in my group i'm going to be 
teaching them and we're going to be doing this together on the daily step by step piece by piece more in detail more intimately huge thank you to happy waxing for sponsoring these pits and this video as i said before i'm going to leave a link in the description box below for you to save some money off of your happy waxing kit and for you to get more information about how to use the waxing kit if you are in the market for a wax situation at home tr trust me you will not be disappointed additionally supporting companies that support me goes a very very long way and i deeply appreciate that oh wait did you follow me on instagram yet hmm i'll just wait for you to follow me on instagram and follow me on tiktok subscribe to my newsletter hit the subscribe button Okay, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.